Every week, we wrap up Bullseye with a pop culture recommendation from me. It's the outshot. Heart. That's like James L. Brooks's thing. Heart is, a, is odd. It's a, kind of a Hollywood deal. It sits comfortably in the middle of the road. It's a satisfying conclusion, comfortable, comforting emotion, feelings that feel right. It's square, by which I mean square, but also even and well-finished. It's one of those things. It's easy to say that something needs heart. It's tough to create heart. Like, here's an example. If all that James L. Brooks ever did was convince the grumpy, joke-obsessed nerds at The Simpsons that Bart, Lisa, Homer, March, and Maggie should care about each other, like actually care about each other, in other words, have heart, he'd be one of the most important men in broadcasting history. But it's not just The Simpsons. It's Mary Tyler Moore, Taxi, Terms of Endearment, As Good As It Gets. Brooks makes you love his characters. He always has room for heart. Of course, that doesn't always work. Some of his movies feel too soft, focusy, sweet. That happens when you shoot for heart and you're a little off the mark, but not usually. And definitely not in my favorite of all of his works, Broadcast News. It's a movie from 1987, a grown-up dramedy about the TV news business. The star is Holly Hunter, a network news producer who's introduced hectoring an audience about journalistic ethics. We are being increasingly influenced by the star system. The network anchormen are so powerful they comprise our last best hope. <clears throat> our profession <clears throat> is in danger. So, where do you want to go eat? The current group is clearly qualified, tied still to our best traditions, but who follows these men? Excuse me. Her love interest, who comes up to her after the lecture, is a sports guy, former sports guy anyway, handsome, kind of dumb, doesn't know much about journalism. He's good on camera, though. And he's coming to work for Holly Hunter as a real journalist. He's a little lost. That guy's played by William Hurt. I can't believe I'm really here. No kidding. If you're through work now, we can... No. Aaron and I go to Central America on Wednesday, so I am crimming. I thought you were incredible in there. A everybody was. I know how much I have to learn. If I could... I mean, it, it, I, I would really a lot appreciate it if... Really a lot appreciate it? You make me nervous. Anyway, if I can pick your brain, if... I, I can't help you. Sorry, I'm not here to teach remedial reporting. Hunter's character has a best friend, too. He's a guy who is only semi-secretly in love with her, played by Albert Brooks. Brooks is a great reporter, deeply moral, and like Holly Hunter's character, he's desperately ambitious. Although... He is also maybe not quite prepared for what his ambitions might bring him. How'd it go? You didn't see it or talk to anybody? No. Then it went very well. Did it really go well? Define your terms. Do you feel good about it? No. Do others feel that you did well? No. Then what was good about it? I lost six pounds. Aaron, will you tell me? It was great. There I was, writing my little first-rate copy. Sitting on my jacket, punching my one thought. Except I had this historic attack of flop sweat. They're never going to let me anchor again, ever. Oh, yeah, I lost one of your shoulder pads. I think it drowned. How was your evening, anyway? What do you mean, flop sweat? You're making too much out of this. I bet you were the only one aware of it. People phoned in. Stop kidding with me. I want to know what happened. I'm not kidding. They were complaining phone calls because you were sweating. No, nice ones, worried that I was having a heart attack. It's a love triangle. It's a romantic comedy. But instead of being built around a one guy's goofy pursuit of a girl and then a suave millionaire who's definitely wrong for her, it's built around basically three people trying to figure out their lives. The setup for these three is almost archetypal. A nerd a handsome guy, and a career woman who they're both pursuing. But the writing and the performances complicate that every time, at every turn. Like Albert Brooks. He's a hero. He's smart. He's competent. 
he's passionate, he cares about her, but he is also a genuine jerk, and he lets his smarts get in the way. Or take William Hurt, the handsome dope. Hurt is superb at playing dumb, and he certainly does things wrong, but he knows what he doesn't know, and he also actually cares. And Hunter's character is maybe the most lost of them all, but she is also the most forward-driving of them all. She is always running through a hallway. The movie's not really for that or against it, which is interesting. She gets called out for the blindness of her ambition, but she doesn't get punished for it like they usually do to ambitious women in movies. Tom's not ready for the job you're about to hand him. Not near ready. Not by the longest shot. Now, Aaron spent six weeks in Tripoli. He's interviewed Gaddafi. He reported on the 81 story. I think he's essential to do the job we're capable of. And I, I think it's my responsibility to tell you that. Okay, that's your opinion. I don't agree. It's not opinion. You're just absolutely right. And I'm absolutely wrong. It must be nice to always believe you know better. To always think you're the smartest person in the room. No, it's awful. And because broadcast news is warm and funny, and because the creator of Mary Tyler Moore wrote it, well, we think it's going to wrap up like a sitcom. But it doesn't. It wraps up like real life. Jagged edges on real people. People who are a mess, but are basically decent. It lets us feel them as they feel their way. It gives us something warm, but real. In other words, broadcast news has heart. That's my outshot.